Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi and today we are going to discuss biology form 2 and specifically we shall learn about transport in animals. Now, uh, this subtopic that is transport in animals is part of uh, the first topic in form 2 which is transport in plants and animals. So basically this is a continuation from what we discussed about transport in plants. Now uh, the first thing before we uh, go into this topic uh, it is important to understand what are the objectives, what are the requirements, what is the learner expected to understand as far as this topic is concerned. So specifically, I uh, will start with uh, the objectives and uh, one of the objectives or one of the specific objectives of this uh, subtopic is that uh, we need to understand the difference between open circulatory system and the closed circulatory system. So distinguish between open and closed circulatory system as the first objective. Uh, the other objective uh, is to be able to describe the structure and function of the mammalian heart. That is the second objective to describe the structure and function of the mammalian heart. Number three, uh, we should also be able to trace uh, the flow of blood from the time it leaves the heart, goes through the entire body and comes back to the heart. So we should be able to trace the flow of blood from the heart to all body parts or you can basically say to all body tissues and back to the heart. Uh, objective number four, uh, we'll also be able to uh, describe diseases that affect the circulatory system. Uh, objective number five uh, we'll also be able to describe the components of blood and relate them to their functions. So describe the components, that is what is blood made of, the components of blood and their functions. Then number six, uh, we'll also be able to uh, uh, describe the human blood groups. Number seven, 
uh, we'll also uh, be able to uh, describe immunity. and immune responses describe immunity and immune responses uh, the other aspect that we need to discuss is to describe the process of blood clotting And basically, how does the blood clotting uh, occur? And then finally, uh, we'll be able to discuss the organ transplants and uh, yeah, the organ transplants and grafts. So those are nine objectives, just to go through them again. Uh, the objectives of uh, the subtopic transport in animals. So these are the specific objectives. Number one, uh, we'll be able to distinguish between open and closed circulatory system. Uh, be able to describe the structure and function of the mammalian heart. Trace the flow of blood from the heart to all body tissues and back to the heart. Describe diseases that affect the circulatory system. Uh, describe the components of blood and their functions. Uh, describe uh, human blood groups. And you can also add something here. And blood transfusion. And then number seven, describe immunity and immune responses, uh, the process of blood uh, clotting and organ transplants and grafts. So that will mark the, uh, the end of that particular subtopic. So uh, to look at the first objective, uh, we need to distinguish between open and closed circulatory system. And basically, we are looking at the circulatory system. So the circulatory system is the system that is involved in the circulation of blood throughout the body of the animal. And this circulatory system uh, is made up of uh, three components. There must be the blood itself, which is the transport fluid. Uh, there is also the vessels in which that blood is flowing. And then there must be a pumping organ. There must be a pumping organ, for instance, now the heart. So, so you can see that uh, the circulatory system is made up of, this is made up of A, we have the transport fluid, e.g. blood. We have a few cases whereby we don't call it blood. Uh, that's why we are giving an example of blood. Uh, then we have uh, uh, the tubes or the vessels in which the fluid flows. And then we have uh, the pumping organ. We have the pumping organ, e.g. the heart. So basically those are the three components of a circulatory system. It should have those three things. The next thing that uh, we shall discuss is the first objective, which, has which now has the types of circulatory system. And as the first objective states, we have what is called one open circulatory system. And this is the kind of a system whereby the transport fluid, 
the transport fluid flows within the body cavity within the body cavity the general body cavity that is called hymocoil hymo hymocoil So there the blood flows within the general uh, body cavity. Uh, the next type, uh, which is now the closed circulatory system, we look at each one of them in details and what each one of them entails. So we have number two, closed circulatory system and as the term suggests uh, it is closed in that blood flows in closed blood vessels blood flows in closed blood vessels and these blood vessels we have examples of arteries the veins and capillaries. So basically that is the difference between the uh, open circulatory system whereby the blood or the transport fluid uh, flows within uh, the body cavity that is known as the hymocoil and closed circulatory system where blood flows in closed blood vessels which could either be arteries veins and capillaries so having fulfilled uh, the first objective we'll have uh, a short assignment so the first question name two types of circulatory system we've just discussed them and also state three components that need to be there in a particular circulatory system. So we'll stop there for now and we'll continue from there. Goodbye.